going on guys? On my way to work. I figured I'd let you know about a little uh, common problems that go wrong with these cars. If you're in the market to buying them or if you own one right now and haven't had any issues. Just something to look out for if you do plan on keeping it for a while and uh, or if you do plan on buying it. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about is the transmission. The transmission on these cars were probably beat up by the police department if you're buying a used cop car. If you're buying an administrator car, you might not have that big of an issue with it. However, it's definitely going to be uh, uh, something to look out for, either on the slow shifts or the, or the up shifts. The most common thing that goes out is the OD band on these cars, the overdrive band, or the uh, front uh, clutch baskets get burnt out. So I would definitely suggest if you're looking into one of these cars that you do a lot of transmission uh, uh, searching and a lot of transmission error looks because they're known to go bad. Number two for what goes bad on these cars is the intake manifold. The intake manifold was made with plastic so towards the back of the firewall the plastic will actually start to crack causing some coolant to come out and you'll actually start smelling coolant inside your vehicle or on the outside of the car because of that. Um, you could buy another intake manifold for around 100, 100 and like 10 bucks to 180 bucks and it's not that big of a job but you do have to remove a lot of things and you, it definitely is a timely process so I would look out for that so that you don't have to, to do that. Another common issue with these cars is the blend door actuator. It's actually right behind the airbag underneath the dash. It controls your air conditioning and your heat, uh, which one actually blows through the vents. It's a pretty big job. If you go to the dealer, they have to take the whole dash down. It's a, it's like an $80 part, and it, it's definitely a big job. So if you want air conditioning or heat, or most of the time it's air conditioning that's stuck off. If you want air conditioning, you're going to have to either finesse your way through the bottom of the glove box to get to the top of the blend door and then you could probably only get two of the three screws that are on top of the blend door or you're gonna have to go to deal you're gonna have to drop the or you can take the airbag out actually take the airbag out and go from there or you could take um take it to the dealer they'll drop the whole dash and they'll do it but it's gonna be a big job it's a lengthy process another common issue that goes wrong on these cars is the steering column shaft uh, it was actually recalled for a bunch of years, and now they're starting to recall newer years. Uh, they've only made this car to 2011, so I think now they're finally starting to recall those newer ones. Um, they used to lock up, and they would um, they would get stuck in certain positions to where you couldn't turn, or you would turn and it wouldn't do anything. So definitely something to look out for is the uh, steering shaft column. You can check the recall on your car to see if your car falls under the recall. And then it's it's a free fix. If your car doesn't have the uh, the recall, still look out for that shaft. Even though they recalled it and fixed it, it still might have an issue. It still can be rusted where it mounts up. So definitely look into into that. It's a relatively small job, but it's definitely a job to look out for. Another common issue with these vehicles is that the uh, door locks and the door window regulators on the mostly the front passenger and the front driver side are really poor so you'll have a door that won't lock or won't um, the window won't go down or won't go up it's a it's a pretty common issue that i see a lot on the forums so just keep your eyes out for that when you're looking to get a, a crown vic also it might not sound like a big deal but it could it could definitely get costly and it's pretty tight inside of these doors so definitely be on the lookout for that a couple honorable mentions that you should look into before buying a crown vic or if you have a crown vic is pay attention to the rust on the vehicle a lot of these cars like the rust in the back quarter panels um, like by the wheel well or by the underneath of the car they tend to rust pretty good so keep your eye out for, for any type of rust spot and get it, get it fixed as quickly as you can because that stuff will grow 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 and then you'll be you know out of luck for a lot of money for the body shops to do it um, another thing to look out for it's not that big of a deal but it is uh, something that's pretty important is the clusters on these cars 
the 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 dash cluster can, seems to go bad. You know, the thing that tells you your speed and your tachometer and all that stuff, depending on what you you have, those tend to go bad, and you'll actually lose your odometer, which will get rid of your miles, so you will know how many miles you have. Uh, I think for a new one, they're they're pretty pricey, but you can go on eBay nowadays and have someone resolder and fix them. Uh, for like 60 70 bucks. It happened in my GMC Truck and I had to send it off to eBay to have someone fix it, but I Haven't had an issue with this one, but it might have been replaced already. So I'm not too worried about it um, Another issue is the oil filter gasket where the oil filter actually goes on to the car There's a, a gasket there and that tends to leak but it's a very difficult job. It's a small part, but it's a pretty difficult job. It's a lot of tight squeezes and stuff like that. So look look at underneath your car before you, before you actually go ahead and purchase it, or if you have it, keep, keep your eye on it. Um, right next to that is your oil cooler lines. The oil cooler lines, the O-rings are garbage, and they tend to go bad really quickly. I went to the Ford dealership to look to buy O-rings, and they wanted to get me for $28 for eight O-rings. So that's definitely something to look into. Um, you can get the Dorman HD lines from AutoZone. They're only they're only like 40 bucks for the HD lines. But if you go to the dealer, the dealer wants like 128 dollars for the uh, the factory oil cooler lines. So it's not a big fix either. It's a relatively easy fix, but definitely something to look into when you're getting the car because it will leak oil from there. And then the last thing to, to note would be your differential. Uh, usually the differentials don't go too bad. They can be exchanged with a lot of cars. The gears can be changed with a lot of cars, uh, like the Ford, the town car, stuff like that. Definitely look out for anything um, leaking back there or any gears that are worn down since they do get a lot of abuse, these cars. Uh, look for any gears worn down or keep up with the fluid changes they, they recommend 75 140 weight oil for the differential with a friction modifier so if you are going to do a differential service or empty the fluid just make sure you put that fluid in there also and uh, do it every I think it's every 150,000 but if you if your car was a cop car it might be better off doing it a little bit beforehand but yeah that's all I can think of right now for common errors that this car has uh, if you guys have anything to add that you've had an issue with your car if you've had you know any of your friends have an issue with this car be sure to leave a comment in the comment description box down below and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time with the next video